All right. Hey, what's going on? I think we're live. I think we're live. Let me know if you can see me or you can hear me or if there's any problems at all. Let me know. All right, I think it's working. I think it's working. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. The first thing I want to address is the language of this webinar. Uh, so this is our first webinar completely in English. Um, it's just better this way. And, you know, since we we're learning English, you know, might as well speak it during the webinar. That's one. And two, also, um, we will have, and we do have some people from all over the world here. And so, you know, English is the only language we can use to communicate all of us. All right, guys. So this free webinar is here because of my brand new course that I started on accent reduction and pronunciation in English. Uh, the new course is already live. It's already up and it's starting soon. So you can check it out uh, just by clicking the link in the description. And here's a couple of things that I want to tell you guys about. Okay. So, uh, the webinar, the, not the webinar, sorry, the course, the online course on English pronunciation is available now, okay? By purchasing it now, you get access to, uh, you get, get, you get a three-month access to uh, two webinars a month. One is for people in the course only. And the other one is kind of general, just like just like this one, basically. So there's that. And um, also, also, because I really want you guys to, you know, get the best deal you could possibly get. Uh, we are currently having a sale. You can say, you know, you can get the new course at a discounted rate. So there's a discount there. So go ahead, check out the link in the description and we will make sure you get hooked up and you get, you get the best deal possible on the course. Okay. I'm just trying to open all the questions and everything. Hello. Hi everyone. Um, if you have any questions at all related to anything ever, uh, just let me know, make sure you're, you know, make sure you let me know in the chat. Um, and yeah, so link is in the description. All right. So today I want to talk to you about pronunciation stuff, basically. And um, I'm going to share my screen with you right now after I figure out how to do it. I think I did it. I think I did it. All right. So basically, here's here's what's going on. Um, English is not a phonetic language. So it's really hard. It's really, really hard to be able to tell how to pronounce or how to say a word by just how it's spelled, you know, by just the letters. Because different letters have different sounds. And English, you know, as I said before, English is not a phonetic language. So we don't really say the way we, you know, we don't say things the way they're written. So here's what's going on. In order to pronounce words you don't know correctly from the first try, you need to learn phonetic alphabet. And you need to learn the sounds and transcriptions. I know you know what that is, how to transcribe. So let's transcribe. All right. 
So right now I want you to read this little paragraph for yourself. Just take the time and read it out loud. I'll wait and I might even read it with you. Go. All right. We went to the beach today. I put three apples in my bag. Men were playing volleyball and women were tanning. I thought it was wonderful. We have to do it again. This is a really good sentence to test someone's pronunciation and test your pronunciation because there are some tricky sounds that non-native speakers make mistakes with. So just you know, screenshot it or save it, keep it in mind, and we will try to revisit it later on. But in my online course, we cover all the sounds possible. Okay. All right. So what is International Phonetic Alphabet or IPA? So basically, here's what's going to happen. And I will also say things in Russian. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll say things in Russian as well. I will repeat, let's say. So right now, for all my Russian people who are struggling a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of time to explain this in, in Russian, okay? So here's what's going on. Сегодня у нас вебинар, и я вам покажу себя сейчас. Сегодня у нас вебинар а на тему, как произносить слова, которые вы не знаете, как произносить незнакомые слова, потому что английский язык – это не фонетический язык. Следовательно, мы не произносим слова таким образом, как они пишутся. И очень сложно увидеть незнакомое слово и понять, как его правильно произносить. И это у нас подготовительный вебинар к, так скажем, моему новому интенсиву, который у меня начинается. Если вы еще не участвуете, ссылка в описании. У нас сейчас скидка действует, и скидка заканчивается уже завтра, поэтому я не хочу, чтобы вы ждали до последнего. И берите сейчас, как пока есть скидка. И вместе с покупкой этого, этого интенсива вам дается доступ на три месяца, на два вебинара в месяц. Один общий вот такой вот, и второй привязанный именно к самому интенсиву непосредственно. А вот, и, и сегодня, так скажем, это подготовительный вебинар к моему интенсиву по произношению. И сегодня я вам расскажу о том, как фонетически читать слова фонетически. So there's that. I hope you don't have any questions anymore. All right, let's go back to my slide. So we have to learn International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA. International phonetic alphabet is commonly used by linguists or uh, language professors, I guess, language teachers, speech doctors or speech therapists, singers even, because a lot of singers right now are, or not right now, but a lot of singers usually do try to sing with an American accent. A lot of international singers, you know, British or whatever, Australian, whatever it may be. Uh, so singers do use that as well. And us. Why us? Because we want to speak English and sound the best we could possibly sound doing that. So why do we need IPA? Why do we need all of that stuff? Why can't I just read a word and just figure it out on my own? Well, the thing is, as I said before, English is not a phonetic language, so it's really difficult to tell what sound a certain letter implies so for example our letter u in words could have three different sounds for example but pull music three completely different sounds same with our letter a apple same all are completely different sounds and they're all spelled with the same letter so there's no easy way to tell which type of sound we're going to use in a certain word 
So that's why we need to learn phonetics and that's why we need to learn how to transcribe. Also, American English has 16 vowel sounds and only about six written vowels to represent them. And that's really confusing. Can you imagine 16 sounds inside of six letters? That's insane. That's just crazy, right? And also IPA transcriptions show stress, which is very important for us because we have words that are spelt the same, but depending on where you put the stress in them, they could mean different things. So for example, content as an adjective means comfortable. Content, it's a noun and it means, you know, information or, you know, media, right? So the meaning of the word and part of speech is different depending on the stress. And that's very important. And IPA just helps us see the language in more detail, which you absolutely want because of the weird things that English has with the spelling and with the phonetics. We want as much detail as possible because if you do look at it, you know, in a more detailed, you know, detailed perspective, you, you know it, you know? And English is not my first language. And if you want to speak like me, that's what you need to do. And I'll help you and I'll teach you. Phonetic alphabet is not perfect. IPA does not show grammar, parts of speech, punctuation, or inflection, unfortunately. And there are multiple different versions of IPA. So that's pretty confusing as well. Uh, but don't worry about it. It's all good, and we're just going to figure it out as we go. And, you know, grammar is a completely different topic. Parts of speech is a, is a grammar subject. Punctuation is a completely different thing. And inflection is something that you have to learn separately from phonetic alphabet. This is only for us to be able to say the words that we don't know correctly. So look at this chart right now that I have here. This chart is a chart of vowel sounds vowel sounds okay so here's what's going on this little shape that i have going on here represents the mouth and the lower the sound is on the chart the more you have to open your mouth just i'm gonna let it i'm gonna let it sink in okay so these are all the sounds and the symbols that we need to know in order to be able to tell which way the word is pronounced. So I'm going to read through all of the words and you can repeat after me if you want, okay? Beat, bit, bet, bat. Bird, sofa, surprise, cup, food, put, on, father. These are the vowel sounds that we need to pay attention to. And these are the symbols that we would use to transcribe the words, right? And vowel sounds in Russian, vowel sounds means glasne zvuki, vowel sounds, okay? So these are the sounds and they're all different, right? And as I mentioned before, depending on how low the sound is in the chart, depending on how low it is, the more you're gonna open your mouth. So beat the first one is not gonna require you to open your mouth almost at all. But the very bottom one, bat, oh, you're gonna open your mouth. You're gonna open your mouth 
and it's going to be beautiful. All right. So these are the vowel sounds, right, with all the symbols. These are the consonant sounds, all the consonant sounds, right, with the symbols and examples. So I'm going to go over them one by one. You don't have to know, like, the names of the categories that's on top and everything. It's it's really it's not that important for us at this point, but you do have to pay attention to the symbols. So the first ones, P, E, B, that letter is P, B, bukwe, P, B, zvuki, P, B, all right? P, B. In words, put and baby. Next, we have two do then we have cake gate right these are the sounds the words that we use these sounds in and these are pretty simple because they are actually marked in the phonetic alphabet in the same way as they are marked in the regular alphabet so that's easy same with f v fake or vodka now, the next one, the next one is pretty cool. You see the symbols? It's the TH sounds. It's the voiceless and voiced teenage sounds. Th and the thing, though. S, Z, say, zoo. Now, these ones are sh and j. Shake, vision. The next one is just, it's just, that's it. Now, we have a combination. We have our t sound and then we have our sh sound. So it's going to be ch, chance. And the second one is j, jeans. M as in make, N as in nose, M as in sing, L as in late, R as in red, W as in water, and Y as in yes. So these are all the consonant sounds. All of them. There's no more. So I just showed you all the consonant sounds. And I just showed you the vowel sounds. And this is it. That's all. That's all you need to know. It's not a lot. It seems like a lot when you start. But honestly, this is it. And by learning this, you will be able to really understand and be able to read any words and pronounce any words that you don't know. And we also have our diphthongs, which are double sounds. And these are A, as in wait, I, as in cry, ow, as in house, O, as in boat, and oi, as in boy. So this is it, my friends. This is it. These are all the sounds that we need to know to be able to read any English word, right? And in my online course, I teach you everything you need to know to be able to do it correctly with the correct pronunciation and just to do it by sounds. So what I mean by, what I mean by words that you don't know, because, you know, it's impossible to know everything. It's impossible to know every single word. Nobody knows all the words, right? So here's what I mean by it. So let me show you a little page. So let's say, let's say, let's say there's this word that I don't know how to say. I found it somewhere in a book or in, a, in an article or online. 
and I, I'm not exactly sure. I, I don't think I've heard this word before, and I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how I can pronounce it. So I go, I look it up in Google. I find any kind of dictionary that I can get my hands on. This is Cambridge Dictionary. It doesn't really matter which one you go. Now, this way, I know how to pronounce this word without even hearing it. Conscientious. 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 These symbols helped me understand how to pronounce this word. Conscientious. Let's let's look for some other words. Let's do some difficult words, right? What about this one? This one is long and it sounds difficult. But because I know all the sounds, I can look at this and try to read this. Subsequent. Subsequent. Easy. Because I know the phonetic alphabet, I can pronounce any word I see. Subsequent. Right? Give me some more words. Give me some more words. What words do you want to know about? Oh, I'm going to break it down with these examples. Easy. <laughs> the word easy. <laughs> All right. If you must know. Easy. <laughs> All right. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. Okay. I like this one. At Victoria suggested. Okay. My stress, I can see my stress is in the second to the last syllable. So negotiation, negotiation, negotiation. How do you know where the stress is? Как понять, где ударение? The stress, ударение, usually ставится у нас такой палочкой перед ударным слогом. Перед ударным слогом. So the stress is right before the stressed syllable. Negotiation. I can find any word and I can say any word I want. Anxiety. Anxiety. Beautiful words you're sending me right now. I love it. Let me let me put this word from one of you in. Like for example, I don't usually use this word. I've seen this word before and I know what it means, but I don't usually use it. So I wouldn't even know how to say it properly. Okay, so the stress is on you multitudinous multi multitudinous multitudinous easy by just knowing the symbols i can say any word i want let's do this one Equanimity. Equanimity. Any word I want, I can say by just knowing the symbols, right? So I gave you the symbols. You you saw them. I showed them to you. And you can try to learn the symbols and apply this knowledge to your English. And that way, if you have a word that you're struggling with, you don't have to try to look for different 
like sound clips or whatever audio clips right you can just look for the phonetic alphabet you can look for the transcriptions ipa and you can say any word you want in english all right i'll take your questions right now guys let, let me see what kind of questions we got Hi, where can we find the articulation of the English sounds? I have the whole, my whole course is about that. If you hit this green button below, you can sign up for the course. And in the lessons, I will tell you the exact articulation for every sound that you need to know. How long is the stream is going to be? A little longer, a little longer. But yeah, ask me questions, ask me your questions. Uh -huh. Simultaneously. <laughs> um, what, what, what is that site, Venya? Uh, I just found, I just literally, I just Googled, I just typed the word that I wanted to know in Google, and I just opened any dictionary website. Literally, I opened the first dictionary website that popped up. So don't worry. Uh, what's the difference? Artem is asking, what's the difference between, okay, ah uh, and ah sounds so the first sound is i call it a rounded ah rounded ah akroglione ah rounded ah so it's in the words like got it's not got it's ga ah got uh all almost right it's not exactly all it's not exactly ah it's something in between um uh, let, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, top, pot, got, lot, all of those. And the second sound is in words like man, happy, apple. It's the, it's the most open for sure out of all of them. Men and man, bed and bad. Really, really easy. So... The first sound, you don't have to work too hard to get the first sounds. Men, easy. Bed, easy, right? I saw a lot of men. I want to go to bed, right? Easy. For the second sound, though, there's only one thing you need to do different. You need to open your mouth a lot more. So look at me right now. Men, man. Bed, bad. You can hear the difference and you can see the difference, most importantly. And, you know, usually when you can see the difference, you can hear the difference too. So that's basically the difference. That's the difference. We literally go over all of that. All of that we go over in my brand new course. So sign up with the link and you I, I'll answer all your questions. All your questions. Dogs, pot, hot, fox, sun, sun. The last two are the same. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Don't test me. Is there a difference in pronunciation between two and two? No, no difference at all. They are exactly the same, Hannah. Thanks for the question, though. Beach and bitch. Beach and bitch. You can hear the difference, and I will teach you the difference in my online course, in my intensive course. But the first sound is more tight. More tight. Beach. E E. You might even smile a little bit when you say it. Beach. Your lips kind of do like a half smile. 
for the second one, your your mouth is a little more open and you have a little more space in your mouth. Bitch, 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 beach, bitch. Though and through, though, through. Same thing with shit and sheet. Same thing. Uh... Interview. There are two ways to say it. You can say interview and be proper. Or you can say interview and skip the T. Mouth. Were. Were. Circumstances. Where are the stress? There's two stresses in the word. Circumstances. Circumstances has two stresses. On the first syllable... And on the second to the last, circumstances. In English, we do have secondary stress. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Environment. Rarely. Beard. Bear. Completely different. Either, other. Male, male is the same. Interview, interview. I like that. I like that a lot. Beautiful. Regret. Literally or literally, you can say. You can say literally, you can say literally, you can say literally. Doesn't matter, but I, I teach you all of those sounds. Don't you worry. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Unavailability. Schedule. Ibiza. Thunder. Ibiza. <laughs> I received a certificate for the intensive of pronunciation by mail. Thank you for deciding to add your signature on the certificate. I already bought intensive slang by songs. Amazing. I'm excited. Why Americans pronounce Russian words with mistakes even if they see transcription? Americans don't know transcriptions. Americans don't know transcriptions. They don't need to. You need to know transcriptions, though. Due to Vinny's videos, I know how to pronounce miscellaneous. Beautiful. Probably or probably? Both. Either or either. It's both. It doesn't matter. It's your personal preference. Both are correct. Scheme, worth, where, were, lieutenant, water, consequence, actually. Мой школьный учитель говорит schedule. Ну, это это британская версия schedule. Они говорят schedule, а мы говорим schedule. How to pronounce were. It's the same sound as in the word bird. Were. Er. Were. That's it. Plain and plain. The same. Worm and warm. A little different. Worm. It's the same sound as bird. Worm. Warm. More of an awe there. Tear and tear. Different, right? Crazy, crazy world. Although. See, guys, and, you know, you don't have to ask anybody to say the words just like you're doing now when you, you can just know the transcriptions and know the sounds. This is, I mean, you don't have to, right? You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. But in my personal opinion, in my personal experience, in my personal opinion, knowing transcriptions helps a lot. If you know IPA and if you know how to transcribe, nobody will stop you ever. And if I didn't know, 
if I hadn't learned transcriptions, I wouldn't be able to speak English the way I, I do now. And it's something that people don't do and something that people neglect and people ignore. And that's why I don't, they don't speak good English because they neglect it and ignore it. And that's it. Что такое Cockney? Cockney. Cockney это um, диалект британского английского. How to read a word out loud if you don't have the transcription and you are not able to look it up online at the moment. You just do your best. One, two, the more IPA you learn and the more you practice, the more kind of you recognize the patterns of certain things. You know, there are completely like outrageous things that English kind of has that don't really make sense. But a lot of it does follow a pattern that you are able to recognize after some time. So when you do learn the, you know, transcriptions and IPA, and you, you know, have had some experience with it, you'll, you, you'll be a little faster. You'll be able to tell and kind of guess and make the right educated guess on some words. Herb, cozy, corny, reported, live, leaves. Как избавиться от русского «р»? Губы трубочкой. Red. Rocket. Remember. Потому что в этом звуке нельзя касаться ничего языком. И когда вы делаете губы трубочкой, вы, так скажем, противодействуете этой привычке. If I pronounce words in the right way, will it help me get rid of my accent? Of course. Of course. That's that's the whole point. That's the whole point. How to pronounce soft T. That's a big, big topic. And I can't get into it right now because it's going to take a while. Uh, but I do talk about it in my course. So don't worry. I literally literally tell you everything you need to know everything so if you want to speak like me sign up now because i share everything with you all the secrets you want to know the secrets right share the secrets link in the description sign up and i promise you your life will never be the same chat to delete and remove no really no no difference that it's not that different when you say remove sometimes you can talk about like remove clothing like take your clothes off you can say remove clothing but you can't say delete clothing right so there are subtle differences what's the right way to translate whatsoever in english i don't like it whatsoever Мне это совсем не нравится. I don't like it whatsoever. How to pronounce things? Things. For TH. Things. Things. Filthy. Со стороны русский акцент красивый или нет? Не очень. How to perfectly pronounce better? Better. I'll, I teach you all of that. I, it's called a flap T or a soft T, whatever you want to call it. And it's the technique when we take the regular T sound and we make it softer by placing our tongue a little bit further back in our mouth. And instead of saying better, we say better, better. And I literally, there's an entire lecture on that. Я картавлю, это проблема? Nope. How to pronounce literally? I already talked about it. Literally, 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 whatever you want.
Как запомнить all phrasal verbs? Вообще нужны ли они? А, конечно, нужны. Они самые важные, наверное, из всего, что есть. Но как запомнить? Применять активно. You can memorize a lot of new vocabulary by just trying to use it. Three. 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 That's it. Really easy. Simple. You have a lot of questions. I love it. I love it. Clothes. 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 Right. How to improve listening skills. Well, actually, by working on your own pronunciation, you will learn different sounds and different things, and you'll be able to recognize them better when people talk to you or when people speak and you listen or you watch movies or TV shows. Uh, but in general, to improve listening skills, you have to listen more. Watch stuff, listen stuff, audiobooks, uh, podcasts, TV shows, movies, YouTube videos, anything, anything you can get your hands on, really. Authentic. Rarely. How come you speak English that fast with that pronunciation, dude? Because I know all the sounds. It's not, guys, like literally, let me tell you one thing. It's not just experience or being in the country or none of that. Or like people say, the more I listen, the better I get. No, no, that doesn't work. That's not how it works. I, I speak like this because I know the sounds. I don't speak like this because I live here. I don't speak like this because I listen a lot. I literally learned all the sounds just like I'm telling you guys to do. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people who have been living in America for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years even, and they still sound the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the matter of experience or it's not the matter of listening or exposure. You have to do the work. You have to do the work and you have to learn. You have to know the sounds. You have to learn the sounds. That's the only way you will ever sound like this. There's no other way. Uh, how to pronounce thought through thorough. Thought through thorough. Планируется интенсив по временам еще? Да, будет. Which one of the names is actually um, Kathy or Katie? It, I mean, it's both. It's, it's whatever you like. И смотреть транскрипцию каждого слова? Ну, конечно. Пока не запомните, естественно. There's no other way. There's no other way. I'm telling you from my own experience and you shouldn't question it because I sound the way I sound. How much time did it take to remember all the sounds? It took me about, it took me about a year and a half to really, really master my pronunciation, but to remember the sounds like to learn IPA literally a week, <laughs> that's all you need. Please pronounce therefore. Therefore. How to say the word anthem. Anthem. Open your mouth. Anthem. Dote. Work and walk. Work. Same sound as in the word bird. Work. Walk. A little more open. How to pronounce the TR sound? It's it's usually pronounced as tr. So instead of terrain, people will say train, right? Instead of um, try, 
people will say try. So it's kind of like tr. Thank you, Venny. I've learned a lot in this hour. Thank you so much. That means a lot. How to pronounce goes. 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 Oh, goes. What about ho? Same. Oh. Oh. Has this been going for long already? Not that long. Not that long. But we're gonna we're gonna finish soon. Cafe. Cafe. Was were. Что означает слово booth в рэпе? Booth это будка. Типа будка для звукозаписи. Schedule. I already did that. Sympathetic. Sympathetic. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. We kind of skip on that A right there. Whatever. Ho ho, как Санта или ho, как девушка легкого поведения. Оба произносятся одинаково. How how can I improve my intonation to sound more natural? John Green, beautiful question. I actually talk about it in my course that I'm basically promoting right now. Uh, but yeah, it's just different inflections and tones that you have to play with. And the main thing you need to do is don't don't kind of keep it the same tone when you talk. You know, kind of play around with it and jump around and talk high and talk low and kind of combine, mix and match and This is the basic advice. Может произнести самое длинное слово английское? I'll try. Numano ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. Numono Pneumona ultra microscopic silica volcano coniosis. Yep, there you go. Mustache. Unfortunately. Okay, okay, okay. Unfortunately. What does dip mean? Dip when you, um, let's say, let's say you're eating, what can you be eating, man? Let's say you're eating a piece of chicken. Let's say you're eating sushi, right? Let's say you're eating sushi. And then you have your little tray of soy sauce, right? So you put your sushi in your soy sauce. You dip. You dip your sushi in the soy sauce. Can you explain how to read the text? I mean, you like read the text with the same pronunciation as you're speaking. I mean, of course, of course. You know, you have to read it out loud. Read it out loud and, you know, keep practicing like that as if you were talking to somebody. How to develop self-confidence. Look, you just have to learn as much as you can because nothing can question knowledge. Skill, you can rely on skill and knowledge all the time. All right, so self-confidence comes after you have learned a lot of stuff. How to pronounce theory. 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 Whole. Как правильно просить black? Black. Open your mouth. Black. Divorce.
as and as. Как различать? As, as. Last sound. Plausible. Attitude. Thesis. Society. How much Americans speak so clear like you? How I see they swallow a lot of words judging by the, the films and videos. They swallow a lot of sounds. And I teach you that. I teach you the sounds to swallow. But uh, I swallow sounds too. It's just it's just the reason why you can understand me is because I talk slow. I'm talking slow at the moment. I'm not talking slow right now, but I usually talk slow when I talk here. Plumber. Worth. How many exceptions from pronunciation rules exist? Too many to be comfortable. Dennis. Dennis. How to pronounce hotel? Hotel. Много американцев учат русский. Два. How to pronounce elf? Elf. Caucasus. Could you advise something about breaking this, you know, language barrier? Like, I seriously think that I look like a monkey when trying to, you know, even just speak to natives. Uh, it might seem, it might feel unnatural when you speak English, but um, it's it's just, it's it's you. It's It's in your head. It's all in your head. Just stop caring and stop thinking and just talk. Because, you know, English is to talk. You learn English to talk. So talk you know um <clears throat> why do americans tell each other are you seeing anyone when they ask if you're dating someone yeah that's that's just an idiom like are you seeing anyone how to pronounce it situation situation ch ch with ch situation awkward how to pronounce awkward awkward Curriculum. You have a lot of words over here. Beautiful. Whole, whole is the same. Pan and pen. A little different. Onomatopoeia. Oleg. Theme. Did you go will be like, did you go no it's gonna be did you go it's not did you go it's did you go did you go how to pronounce slaughtered nonchalant fever a uh, fewer sorry a <laughs> fewer fever is a different word Irina. Смотрите, тут 552 человека, которые смотрят, и, скорее всего, большинство из них тоже хотят. Yeah, вы сможете найти легко. Easy. You just gotta look. You just gotta open up your mind and look. You know. Super easy. All right, guys. We're gonna leave it at that. Thank you so much for coming and participating. Thank you so much for all your questions and all your words. Make sure you sign up and participate in my new course because you have a lot of questions and my course is gonna help you a lot. Trust me, I'm giving you all the information that I could possibly give you in the course. And if you buy it now, you can still get it at a discounted rate. So hurry up and don't wait until the last minute. Okay? I'll see you there. Повторю на русском, друзья. Я вижу у вас много вопросов. Спасибо, во-первых, за ваши вопросы, за все вопросы и за участие. Я вижу у вас много вопросов, поэтому вам действительно явно нужен интенсив. Записывайтесь, и я там я делюсь с вами просто всей информацией, что я могу и что вам нужно. И если успеваете, потому что завтра скидка, цена вырастает, потому что у нас скидки сейчас идут, и завтра скидка заканчивается, поэтому успевайте, all right? Okay. See you guys later. I hope to see you during the course. Love you all. 
And if I did it, you can do it too. You just have to put in the work. All right. Link in the description. Bye-bye.